Yeah, this hotel had traditional tatami rooms. It had the river right in front of you. Dang, here's another banquet hall. It's beautiful. I bet this restaurant was so nice to eat at. With a spectacular view, I would have loved to just, you know, bring a friend, a family, or a loved one here. I just love how more decayed it looks. Like even the windows have vines growing. This is a room you don't find too often. Look at all the retro arcade machines. We said that we're gonna wake up for 8 a.m. We probably wake up at 12 noon. So we did a smart tactic here. Originally, we said we wake up for 4 a.m. and start exploring, but I don't know. Knowing us, we're I knew we wouldn't wake up for that time. We made it here to the hotels. Driving through, you can see a bunch of them just left abandoned. We're just gonna have to find a place to park now. Well, some of them are active, but a lot of them are abandoned. We just stay here for the night. There's so many abandoned hotels just on this street. We, we wouldn't get to Nagasaki in time. Yeah. <laughs> but all these other ones aren't like, apparently like worth it as far as I know, but I don't know. We can do a whole series on just here. For real, dude. Wow, this is, what the heck? I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, this is a good place to fly our drones. Kind of hidden away too. Yeah, we just Kinugawa Onsen District in Tochigi Prefecture is one of the top three hot spring resort areas in Japan. Historically known for its hot spring sources that date back to the late 1600s. From the mid 1700s, the area became popular with feudal lords and Buddhist monks as a stopover during a pilgrimage to Nikko. The Onsen became accessible to the general public in the late 1800s and hotel development took off in the 1920s making it a leading destination for large-scale hot spring resorts, with its accessibility from Tokyo improved by the Kino Express after World War II, quickly making this one of the leading large-scale hot spring resort areas in Japan. Fast forward to the 1970s when the asset bubble collapsed, the tourism industry suddenly declined. For more than 20 years, the district is now facing a serious problem with abandoned and unsafe hotels Although the Japan Tourism Agency provides financial assistance for the demolition of abandoned hotels and buildings in tourist areas, Nikko City has been unable to qualify for aid due to the difficulty of repurposing the land after demolition. Leaving these abandoned hotels to decay is also not an option as they pose a danger to the public. And as of right now, there are no future plans in sight. So we just got kicked out of here by that Japanese guy. He said he's gonna close the gate. I think there are workers that are working on these hotels. But anyway, we're gonna start exploring right now and probably find a better parking spot. Yeah, so we got lucky because the gate was closed. Oh, you look, there's a sign right there, Takimi Park. So this is gonna lead us to the bridge that we wanna yeah, see. Yeah, we'll just park right here. We're starting to get just bring all your gear. It looks like a Sylvia. No. Yeah. So, no, it's not a Sylvia. What, the blue car? Yeah, it's an Nissan Sylvia. Whoa. That's, that's 15. I've never even seen that before. Yeah, me too. I've literally never seen that car. You know, it's called an S15 Sylvia. So this is quite convenient how the bridge is located right next to the park. Which has the same name. This is the Kimi Park. We want to get to the Kimi Bridge. We'll get a good view of some of the craziest abandoned hotels here. The people that come to visit this place are really coming here just to check out these abandoned hotels. There's not much here, at least in this district or this town that we're in. What is going on everyone? So 
We just made it here closer to the hotels. It's such an incredible sight to see. And this is probably one of the most unique abandoned places I've ever explored. Right next to me is Takumi Bridge. And these are some of the abandoned hotels around here. There are over 16 different abandoned hotels in Ryokans. And if you don't know what a Ryokan is, it's basically a hot spring hotel. Now this place was booming around the 1960s up until the 1990s. A lot of tourists would come here, especially once on group business trips. These hotels are quite special because they're used to hold a lot of people inside the rooms. The rooms are gotta be massive. But it all went downhill during the 1990s when the acid bubble collapsed. Basically, people didn't even have enough money anymore to afford a hotel over here. And less visitors came here because they were, they were going to much cheaper places like Thailand or Indonesia that would cost a fraction of the price. So now they're getting less visitors coming into the hotels. But when the banks went bankrupt, the banks couldn't even take the abandoned hotels and now the hotels were left to be abandoned. The city doesn't even know who owns some of these hotels and they don't even know what to do with them anymore. Now, the Japan Tourism Agency started a financial assistance program to provide up to half the cost, not exceeding 100 million yen, to cities and towns and businesses looking to demolish abandoned hotels and buildings around tourist areas. The thing is, these hotels cannot even be provided with the aid because it's gonna cost way more than $100 million to demolish them. Not only that, but the environment they're on are on steep hills. So even if they were to demolish it, it's not like they can put another business on top of that land. I can only imagine within the next maybe 30 to 50 years, the hotels might be in such bad shape that they might even naturally collapse into the river. It's really bad. But that's basically the summary of this place. And it's been just abandoned since like the early 2000s. I'm ready to go check out some of these hotels. I'm so excited. I've never imagined there was a, such a place like this ever, especially here in Japan. So let's go and check out some of them and get a tour inside. But before the adventure begins, guys, I want you all to smash that like button and leave a comment down below where you're from, especially if you're Japanese. Shout out to my Japanese fans out there. I love you all. My gosh, this bridge does not feel safe at all. Dude, this is moving. It doesn't feel sturdy, bro. It literally shakes as you're walking. Dude, you can hear it too. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. How is this considered safe? I can see the, I can see the headline already. Four Western YouTubers die in Japanese bridge plot. Don't say that, bro. <laughs> well, I'm walking through. I'll see y'all at the other side. This is actually really scary. Yo, the wind doesn't help at all too. So far, a lot of Japanese people are crossing the bridge, so it shouldn't be that bad. Well, I would never expect a bridge like that, especially one that's like open to the public for hundreds of people to get on. That felt really unsafe. Bro, I'll know. We're going to take the long way around, back, back to the car. <laughs> we have to go over that again. Are you sure? I think that well, it wasn't too bad, bro. Looks like we got police. Oh, it's a police station, maybe. Or maybe they're just parking there. Oh, yeah, it's not a police station. Well, there's no cop in the car. I don't think it should be too hard to get inside these hotels. They've been abandoned here for a long, long time. I've seen a lot of photos online. And just recently, my friend went here. So, yeah, but well, we're trying to find some openings right now to get in. So we just made it inside. This is how the first room looks like. Still got quite a bit of stuff left behind in some of them. Yeah, this hotel had traditional tatami rooms. That had the river right in front of you 
anything though, all the hotels has the same view. Oh, check this. We even have the mats and the pillows and blankets still left in the closets. Looks like someone left some crystal stars in the safe over here. One of the keys to the hotel rooms. They have like massive keychains on them. Wow, we can see the foundation of how these hotels are built right onto the cliff. Kind of crazy that they built it like that. Yeah, all these rooms look pretty similar now. So let's go check out and find some different looking rooms. It's like a little kitchen area. And here's an elevator. Oh, there's a lot of floors than I expected. There's seven of, there's seven of them. We're on the first floor right now. Oh, what the heck? This is probably the same Coca-Cola bottle that they were selling here. I got two choices now, left or right. Hmm, I'm feeling left for some reason. Oh. What's this? Wow. Okay. This room is quite bigger than the other one we just saw. More so meant for a family. It had a living room area. Still got the TV. where the toilet is oh even back then they had the self-washing toilet seats there's the buttons for them makes me wonder how long did they have they had those type of toilets here's the bathroom with the shower and tub it's really nice this would be in a really nice room to stay in and here's the tatami style room. Another TV is just left right there. Damn, you can hear the river. Wow, this view is amazing. I bet the seventh floor will have the best rooms. But then again, I feel like the bottom floor might be the best floor since you're just very close up to the river. There's the stairs leading up. Yeah, let's go upstairs now. It's a beautiful sight to see. I wonder if we can open this window. It's like the rooms on the right side didn't have a balcony. Dave, you finally found us. Dude, I was having a panic attack. Yeah? I was walking up and down the road, I thought I've got no phone, no internet. <laughs> um, I don't know where the guys are. That's, that's what I get, I guess, for playing on the bridge. <laughs> yeah, you like that bridge a lot, huh? I love that bridge. <laughs> we thought you... Did you like the bridge? Yeah, it was fun. We should like try jumping on it. Seeing who's the first one to fall off the bridge, you know? Let's <laughs> all rock the bridge. Yeah. All right, Dave, I'll see you upstairs. Let me know if you will leave. Have you been right down the bottom? Yeah. Is there much? Just ordinary rooms. Up here was like street level, I think. Yeah, I'm seeing signs for a banquet hall. We should probably check that out. I think it's down this way. This carpet kind of reminds me of like Louis Vuitton. 
similar design, kind of. Oh, this is a sick hallway. You can tell that this was a fancy hotel based on that image right there. The guy wearing a top hat. Pretty standard. First time graffiti. It's quite rare in Japan. I guess we'll see the first room. Oh, I don't even think this was a room. Dang. This room is massive. We're on top of the stand right now. It probably has some people speak up here, sing or dance, basically entertain, or even maybe even weddings happen inside this room. There's like a sliding door right here. I think. Oh no. I think this leads back stage. Yeah, there's just a bunch of seats. This room kind of explains what I said in the beginning of this video, how these hotels were mainly for organized groups of people. You can see how massive the rooms are. This is a nice spot. Damn, there's like so many big cobwebs over here and giant spiders. Oh my God, that looks like a black widow. But anyway guys, I really hope you guys have been enjoying this adventure today. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. Also, cop yourself a Wander hoodie, shop freemaxwander.com. International shipping available. We're on a time limit though, because in two days we have to get to Nagasaki, which is about like a 16 to 18 hour drive from here. So, um, yeah, who knows what other hotels we'll be able to explore. But I'm hoping that uh, I can at least do two or three. If not, I'm just going to have to come back here and do another series. So if you guys do enjoy this exploration today, uh, you know, let's try to get this video to over 10,000 thumbs up. And I'll come back to this region and do a series on these abandoned hotels again. Yeah, I wouldn't want to know what kind of spires live in there. I mean, I can kind of see like a black widow looking spider right over here. I like how you have tall windows. You can see like an amazing view as you're just walking down this hall. Here's another banquet hall, much bigger than the one we just saw. That's also the most decayed. The ceiling has fallen through. Still got the, all the lights hang though. Damn, I think all of that up there is asbestos as well. These are pretty old hotels, so I wouldn't doubt it. Still a bunch of equipment and appliances. Look at that. Still had an entire radio set here.
restaurant should be down here. Oh. I think this was like a karaoke room. Oh, I can see a karaoke symbol. This is a really small karaoke room. But it looks like it gets bigger. This one's pretty nice. This karaoke room must have been the best one. Considering you'll have a good view right through these curtains. made it to one of the restaurants of the hotel. Damn, so photo-wise, I love the pictures you can take inside this restaurant. But, wow, oh, I bet this restaurant was so nice to eat at. With a spectacular view, I would have loved to just you know, bring a friend, a family, or a loved one here. And by the looks of it, I think they were mostly serving sushi, because I can see some of the sushi boats here. Like this one. Here's the bar area. Let's head up to the next floor now. So far, every floor has been quite exciting to see. So what's over here? We're now on the sixth floor. Front souvenir restaurant, club, and meeting room. Gee, is there some more restaurants? It's club Starlight. Probably had to be a member to enter one of these rooms. Just looks like a bar. Jurassic Park Kirin beer cup. Oh my gosh, it's like sticking onto the table. This looks like to be a collector's edition. the projector over here. Yeah, there's definitely some karaoke going on in this room. I wish I could stay in this hotel and just relive it. That was such a nice place to stay. I mean, this place used to get so many visitors and this place didn't even close down because it was such a bad hotel. It just closed down because of the economic bubble popping and people not being able to afford these type of hotels anymore in this region. This hotel must have just been a nice hotel to stay at and have a good vacation. All right, we're done checking out that room. Let's go down this hallway. Oh, what is this? Looks like a raccoon. I think these type of creatures are meant for good luck. I always see them in video games like Genshin Impact. Oh, no way. This entire floor is not even a hallway. This looks like your typical ramen shop. Probably get some nice bowls of ramen in here. Man, it's such a vibe exploring this place because you just hear the river. It's like so serene right now. You get a good view from here. This window is completely open. Now what could have been here? It 
It's massive. Definitely meant for lounging and entertainment. We're at the main entrance, guys. There's the front entrance over there. And this is what you would walk into the moment you step in. And over here is the front counter where you would check in. This is kind of how it looked like as you entered. Pretty incredible. Looks like they're starting to take some stuff out of here. But look at that ceiling. I really like what they did over here to these lights. Well, definitely feels like a luxury hotel the moment you step inside. And we have some taxidermy. This looks like the deers you would see in Nara. Well, we have one last floor to check, and that's right up those steps. Dang, can even get outside from here. Yeah, so we're on the very last floor. Oh, what the heck? Here's some information. I mean, let's make sure we saw all of it. I haven't really seen the Unzen room though. The grand public bath is on the first floor. We've seen the karaoke room. We've seen Club Starlight. We've seen the Japanese style restaurant, Shinwatsuke. So yeah, I say we just head back downstairs and try to find that Unzen. It's actually creepy right here. I think someone drew this. And what does this even mean? MJZRF. So weird. By the looks of it, it seems that there's more floors on the other side. Let's just make sure we know what's up here before we move on any further. Oh, I think it just leads to the rooftop. Nothing really here. It was probably more so for the workers to stay. And these were for the elevators. Look at that. It's a sake bottle, one of them old vintage ones. I think there used to be like whiskey in here. So, floor seven also had rooms that you were able to stay in. This one still has the robe. It's 
So I just saw this right here on the window. It's kind of showing all the tourist stuff you can do in this area. Ego Wonderland. Never heard of this place. It looks pretty fun. Looks like the rooms all look the same. Yeah, and that's the end of it. Everyone, let's just start heading downstairs now. All right, guys. So this is where the unzins are located on the very last floor. Yeah, it was really trashed. So many bags. Okay, this has to be it. Yep. Yeah, so this is kind of like the locker room. This is where you take off your clothes, put it in this container right over here, and then you put your shoes, and maybe your wallet and phone in the lockers. Then right after that, this is the Unzen room. Basically, these were hot springs. And what's cool is they would use the river's water. So it's really natural. But before entering the tub, you would have to wash yourself off, get rid of the dirt and oil on your body to keep the water clean. And I love onsens. I haven't been to one on this trip yet, but I'm definitely gonna go to a few of them while I'm here in Japan. Yeah, you had multiple different tubs. They probably had different temperatures in them. And there's probably a cold tub as well. Yeah, this is how the onsen room looks like. Now, this might be a little bit too uncomfortable to some Westerners, but when you go to an unzin, you're naked with a group of people. They separate the males and the females. But yeah, you're in here with a bunch of naked guys. Uh, I've done it before, but you know, I just tend to just focus on myself. <laughs> So I just made it to another hotel by just jumping across from here. It's kind of weird how you were able to just hop over here if you wanted to. It would have been a, such a sneaky way to get to the other hotel from the fire exit over here. Just literally just hop this wall. But anyway, this is the Kappa Hotel. And this was quite famous. I've seen photos of this online. This is actually the main hotel that I wanted to check out. It's more run down than the other one, but there's definitely more things to see in here. That's one of the rooms. Let's find an, find an easier room to see. Uh, looks like we're on the fourth floor, considering the rooms are numbered from 400. Wow, it's really run down. Check out this. That could be the founder of the hotel. Holy crap. The floors have just completely collapsed. Definitely not going through here. Yeah, I don't think it's safe at all. I think we should like maybe go all the way to the top and work our way down to the bottom. Yeah, that entire floor is just gone.
Oh my goodness. Was this a restaurant? I think it was. Holy crap. The ceiling just fell. But I just love how more decayed it looks. Like even the windows have vines growing. I think it's a little bit sturdy, so I'm gonna walk around the furthest I can. Wow, this is some really old newspaper. You can see over there that there was a bar. That is still intact. Just found a safe. Looks like people haven't even opened this. How is that sound? I think that's the wind doing that. Hello? Something sounds like it's flapping. It's creepy. I don't know how safe the floors are in here. Check out this room. It's pretty neat. Oh, it's a handmade samurai doll. Is this like an unzen room? It's weird that there's like cobblestones on the floor. Well, we can't really walk through here either. I kind of don't want to. A lot of the rooms are banquet halls. And that's a dead end. Well, here's a hotel room. It looks similar to the other hotel. Oh. Here's some graffiti. I will say that the balcony is much better. <laughs> kind of connects to the other rooms. And there's the bridge we had to cross. You know, I don't want to step outside because people might be able to see me. But we have one of the booklets of the hotel. Might have some old photos. Here's a map of Kinagawa and all the different activities you can do. Looks like this place has a lot to offer. I think it's underrated. More people should be coming here. Look at that, different types of onzens. Karaoke. I 
guess this is like the closest mountain. There's no floor here. We're on the seventh floor. I think this place has nine floors in total. Floor number eight. Wow. They made a pile of metal. Oh, what the hell? That was kind of creepy to be greeted with. It's another handmade samurai doll. I swear you find this in every household and building. I think it's meant for good luck. A lot of things here in Japan are meant for good luck. That's what I've noticed. Oh, this is a random find. Stacks of TVs. We can get to the rooftop from here. I'm not sure if it's safe because we'd be easily spotted. Well, we made it to the top. I think we can work ourselves down to the bottom floors now. I think a pipe burst. Yep. Wow. Pipe definitely burst here. They should probably come here and fix that. That might be very bad in a few years. Just found these hidden set of stairs. It might lead to a room that I saw online that had arcade machines. I'm hoping that's it because after that, we've seen every room. It feels kind of sturdy. This has to be where it is. This is a room you don't find too often. Look at all the retro arcade machines. The Grand Derby. Metal game machine in Vegas. Amusement machine. We got a pinball machine right here. Space shuttle. Whoa. I wonder what kind of arcades you played on these machines. And there's more over there too. But you gotta watch out. The floor is really bad. Look at that, we have a grand piano. I wonder if the keys still work. Nah. Doesn't work anymore. It's an Estein piano or Eastine piano. What's over here? It's like a safe. Oh, it's a karaoke capsule. It's a small room, but you would have some karaoke in there. I love how we found the arcade machines though because this is such a rare room to find. I mean, this place is like a complete maze and this room is hard to get by. So we got to see everything we needed to see. Whew, I'm tired. It's a weird noise coming through here. Oh. This is the onsen room. I can hear the water still running. Well, wow, there's still water flowing through here. Probably from the river. 
Yeah, you can even see water seeping through the rocks over there. So we're now on the second floor. Or no, we're on the first floor. This is probably where the entrance was too. Oh, this is another public bath area. You can see the signs. Probably had more onsens over here. Yep, sisters right there. Public bath, gentlemen, public bath, ladies. So this was for both male and female. Yeah, I don't think this was an onsen. It was just a public bath area with probably warm water and you had to wear a suit and swim trunks. And you might be wondering, how come Japanese signs have English words in them? And you might think it's because of Taurus, but it's actually for aesthetic purposes. It's literally just for the looks of it. It's beautiful. And look at the frog statues. I like that a lot. I bet you can even walk down over there. Gotta watch your step here. I think that door leads outside. You can get a good look at the building from there. That was kind of scary. But we made it to the other side and we can get out, see a good view. That's an excellent view of the hotel from behind. Wow. I love the view from here. Can't believe we explored all of this. And here's an outdoor pool. Look how overgrown it is now. It's been remarkable. You can just walk over here and see the river. But now even the branches and trees are overgrown and blocking the view. I think we've pretty much seen everything. Whew, I'm tired. We should head back to the car now. All right, Ruin fam, so I forgot to do my outro, so I gotta do it right here. It's currently 6 a.m. in the morning. I just got done editing the video for you guys. If you notice, I've been here in Japan for the past month already, and I've filmed so much for you guys for the Japan series, and this is the first episode that I've just dropped for it, but there's so much more to come. I'll probably drop one every month or so. So yeah, be on the lookout and definitely keep up with the Japan series. But day ahead of you in the East Coast, it's 5 p.m., I just want to say thank you so much for making it to the very end of the video and I hope you guys enjoyed it a lot. If you did, of course, subscribe and hit that notification button bell and please leave a thumbs up and a share. And also leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and what you loved about the video. I mean, this explore was absolutely incredible. It was such a great vibe and the history of it was amazing. So I really did enjoy it a lot and I hope you guys did too. I gotta get some sleep. Is that a spider? No, it's not good. There was a spider in my room, but yeah. I gotta get some sleep guys because in a few hours I have to explore Bunny Island. But yeah, if you want to keep updated with my life, definitely follow me on my Instagram at Steve Ronin. That's where I post like stories and photos of my latest adventures. But yeah, until next time guys, don't forget to live a life of freedom and wonder. I'll see you all next time. Peace and thanks for watching.